So, uh, Shazalu made another video a few days ago, seeping with that underlying gotcha um, that, you know, basically underlies all of his videos, which is, what if it's bad, right? Um, and this one was about why Wiccans cast circles. Obviously, we live in a world where there are components of this world, natural and those that you might consider supernatural, although I consider the world, the world to be natural no matter what. Um, where there are things that are beneficial to our health and things that are not so beneficial. There are predators and there are prey. This is the natural world. Um, now, what you're trying to do is bring the Wiccan philosophy, the Wiccan cosmology, into the Christian cosmology. And this, you know, it, it doesn't work completely, okay? Unlike Christian Wiccans who take Christian deities and bring them into a Wiccan cosmology, you're trying to take the Wiccan cosmology and bring it into the Christian cosmology, and that doesn't really work very well. Um, so, here's the bottom rule, okay? Um, when one does magical energy, you're working from a different level of consciousness. Something you should know, by the way, if you were a so-called occultist. Um, <laughs> Um, when you raise your energy, you also raise consciousness level um, to something that, well, Wiccans mostly call the higher self. But what we're doing is attaining a conscious level, consciousness level that's closest to deity. Okay. But along with that, when you have an open consciousness, you're also opening yourself up to other negative energies around you. Hence the reason one creates sacred space when they do this. Now, um, one might say, well, you don't actually get to create anything sacred. Actually, that's not true. We create everything that we consider to be sacred. That's what humanity does. Um, and then we, we attribute those things that are so, that are supposedly sacred to deity. Um, for us, when we create sacred space, that's the time where we connect to deity. So when we create that circle, we're creating sacred space. Um, why is it a circle? Well, that's kind of a silly question, considering that it is the, uh, same distance from, uh, you know, around from all points, and the shortest way around from all points, and so it would just make most geometric and logical sense for it to be circle now, wouldn't it? It's also easier to envision. Um, so yeah, um, we live in a world where there's things that want to hurt us and things that, that want to help us. Um, when we work with deity, obviously deity is archetype for what we want to work with. That's, that's the deity that is within us, and also external from us. At least that's what I believe. Um, so I'm trying to connect that part of myself that is deity with that part um, externally that is deity with the outer universe, so to speak. Um, in order to do that, you have to have a certain level of consciousness, and that means opening yourself up to all these other influences. So, um, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. So that's why we cast a circle. Um, I think, you know, the whole gotcha, what if it's bad, what if your deity's bad question, which I know is, is, is lurking there, I could simply turn around and say to you, you know, um, your deity wrote a book that, you know, demeans women and, and uh, is pro-war and um, at least very many mixed messages that cause people to do bad things, so what if your deity's bad? Um, I could just as easily say that to you. Um, so, um, you know... What if it's bad? Well, that's one of the reasons why Wiccans work within a concept of universal love. Um, this concept of universal love, um, to me, sums up a lot of what we see in the principles of Wiccan belief and also in Harmony and Undo at the Will. When one works that path, they're avoiding a lot of the dangers that come from attracting negative energy. Um, which is why Wicca is was one of the most popular paths of witchcraft out there today, because you know we do a lot to avoid negative energy. Granted, we do have to defend ourselves once in a while, and there's nothing wrong with defending oneself. But the whole concept of walking the light path, as some people call it, or um, doing um, magic for for beneficial or positive reasons is to avoid those negative influences that one would would uh, take. So. You know, um, that's why I call it universal love, because you're always trying to strive towards the good. You know, Plato's good, um, and uh, not um, dwelling on negative or destructive things. Um, yeah, pretty much sums it up.